Today I will show you how to create a custom pattern in Photoshop, so let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. Today I will show you how to create a custom seamless pattern for your custom design. Of course I will show you how to create some random patterns and some other patterns shape with Photoshop pattern script. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's have fun. Alright guys, we will start with the image of this pinkish butterfly and first thing what I want to do, I want to extract him out of the background. I want to remove this white background and for that I will use magic wand tool here and I will use tolerance of 30 and just press and click on the white background. Press delete and that's it. Now I have this butterfly extracted out of the background. Right, and the next step will be to create a new blank document for our pattern. Control command and for that and I will type 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels with 72 dpi pixels per inch and I will use white background for that. Okay, and that's really nice. Let's go back to the butterfly and let's just copy him and paste him or you can drag and drop to this document. All right, and I will make him smaller. Control command T and just make him smaller, something like, something like so, it's nice. Let me see, maybe, yeah, that's nice. Then I want to duplicate the butterfly, control command J and rename the first layer to backup. Okay, you will see later why I will need it, but for now I will make him invisible and go to the first layer here. Now I want to make a copy, a lot of copies of this butterfly. How to do that? Well, it's really easy, just press uh, move tool here, V on a keyboard or just click on the move tool and press control, uh, sorry, alt or option key and just move the butterfly. Alt or option key and then move it again. But I want every butterfly to have different rotation. So for that I will press control command T and then just rotate it slightly, press enter. If I want to select this guy here, I need to press and hold control or command key and just click on that guy. And now I have him selected again, control command T and rotate it something like so. Then alter option key, move it to copy him, rotate it slightly, alter option key, move it, control command T, copy, rotate it, etc, etc. And you need to repeat this process all over again to populate the scene a little bit with some random positions. So I will do that pretty quickly. Okay, like so, that's nice, it's nice to just move them around as you like, just to populate the scene, to have some randomness in the rotation, okay, that's really nice. Later I will show you how to do this faster, but you need to know this method too, because in some situation you will use only this method, okay, that's nice. Let me just move this one over here and okay, for now that's great. Now I will click on the first layer here and scroll down to the last active layer and that's the layer one copy, okay? And press control command E on a keyboard to merge them into one layer. Now they are completely merged down, all right? And now I will make part of the pattern, first part of the pattern out of these butterflies. For that, I just need to go here to the filter other and offset here. Okay, this is the first step and this is the start position. You have this offset dialog box and you have horizontal and vertical pixels position and you can move that them with the mouse or you can just move the slider here. I will use the mouse and make sure to have checked this option wrap around because you want butterfly to wrap around this white paper. Okay, I will show you what I mean. If you move it to the left, it will wrap around, go all around to the right side, like so. See, when you move it, you don't have a preview of moving, but after you release the button, the mouse, you will have the final position. I want to move to wrap around the corners, to move a little bit to the left and to the up here, up left, upper left corner, and it will wrap around all four corners. That's really nice. You can see this part of the butterfly ends here and here and here, this part it's here, this part is here, this part it's 
here, etc., etc. He's completely wrapped around this paper. And that's really nice. When you're satisfied with the result, just press OK. And that's great. All right, the next step is to use this backup guy. Why? Well, we have empty center here and we want to populate this center with a butterfly or a few more. Okay, I will again use Alt or Option key and just move, copy, rotate, copy, rotate, something like so. And maybe a few more, one more here, maybe one more down here and let me see maybe one more here why not something like 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 maybe so and that's it now we can make now we can make a pattern out of this picture here but first let's merge them all together go to the first layer and to the last layer by holding shift key on a keyboard and press ctrl or command e and that's it now just go here you can uncheck the background to see if we want without the background, but it doesn't matter. We will only uh, make the pattern out of this first layer. Go to the edit and go to the define pattern option here. Just press OK and just name this pattern. I will name this uh, butterflies. And that's how we made a custom seamless pattern for our project. Now I will show how to load this pattern to some other documents. So let's do that. Alrighty, guys, I will make another blank document, Control command n and I will make maybe four or 5,000 by 2,000, doesn't matter, just some wider document and press OK. That's nice. You will have it here. Now I want to create a new layer like so and I, and I want to fill it with some white color. If you want to fill it with the background color, you just need to press Ctrl or Command and Backspace. If you want to fill it with the foreground color, it's Alt or Option key and Backspace. Okay, and then I will double click on the layer here to load this layer style options. And I will go to the pattern overlay. That's nice. Let's leave it here. And your pattern is the last one that it's here in the options. That's great. And what I want to do now, I want to reduce the scale because it can be really big or you can reduce the scale something like so and if you move it see it's seamless it's completely seamless and you can make it wide and wider as much as you want this document can be really really big and you will still have a seamless pattern and that's really nice and if you press ok that's it you have a seamless pattern if you want to move this well you need to go again to the pattern overlay here to the effects panel and just then you can move them around or make them bigger like like so maybe and move them around and when you're satisfied with that just press ok and that's it now i will show how to place this pattern on some maybe bedroom wall or, or something like so here i have where it is here i have another document and i want to place that butterfly pattern on this wall here first i need to make a mask for this wall only. And I will do that really fast with pen tool, P on a keyboard or just press here on a pen and go here and just select this wall. Okay, like so. Let's move this a little bit up. And finalize the selection. Then I want to make selection for this image, picture, sorry, this wall picture okay because I don't need that and then I want to make selection for this wall sockets here like so it's not so precise but it's okay it's completely okay and when you're done you just need to press control and enter on the keyboard and now you have that as a selection and just make a mask here and you have this wall mask. That's great. But we don't need a mask here. We will create a new layer and move mask to that layer. That's great. And we will fill this layer with the white. white. White, it's a background color. That's why we need to press Control Command key and backspace. And now we fill this with the white. But we don't want this white color to be visible. And that's why we will put this layer into multiply blending mode because multiply blending mode doesn't see the white color. It makes white color invisible, actually. 
Okay, that's nice. And now we just need to load the pattern on this white layer here. To do that, we will just repeat the steps from a previous example. So let's do that. Just double tap on this layer and go to the pattern overlay here and choose the last pattern that you made. And that's the butterflies here. And just choose the scale here. I will use something, something like so and later I will make it smaller. And then press OK. That's really good. The next step will be to transform these butterflies perspectively to fit this wall because now they are just projected flat on this layer and we don't need that. We need them projected uh, into perspective here. Okay, to do that we need to create a layer out of this layer effect and then transform that layer. So let's do that. Okay, to do that just right click on the effects here and go down to create layer options. Just click that and you will have those effects apply on a new layer. If I unclip this, you will see that the butterflies are just projected on our white layer here, just straight flat on the document. And we want the butterflies uh, transform to transform them perspectively. So to do that, I will first convert them to smart object, have more control with the size of uh, the layer if I want to later change the size and just press control command T and go with this edge over here to the edge of the wall, then press Control Command key and hold it and move this corner here, move this corner here like so. Okay, and you repeat that with all four corners. Just reposition them and transform them perspectively. That's really, really nice. You can zoom it and that's nice. Let me see something like so and maybe to fix this and I think it's okay now press enter and clip it again to this layer and you can see they're really really nice clipped here to our wall you can now make it bigger Control command T and press and hold shift and you can make them bigger if you want it's really the, your preference maybe maybe a little bit bigger but maybe not something like like so, and you can change the color, of course. If you want to change the color of the butterflies, just use maybe hue and saturation, clip it on the butterflies, and just change the color maybe to the blue, or something like so, because other parts of the bedroom, it's a little bit blue, let's lower the saturation, or you can leave it pinkish, it's, it's really, really nice in both ways. And that's, that, that's it, you, you just made a custom pattern for your custom project here. All right, guys, in the next example, I will show you how to create some random pattern and some other pattern shapes with Photoshop pattern script. So let's do that. All right, for this next example, we will go back to the butterfly image. And first thing what I want to do is to make this document smaller because I will make a pattern out of this one butterfly. And for now, he's too big. To do that, just press Control Alt I or Command Option I on the Mac and you will have this dialog box. I will put 300 by 210, press OK, and that's nice. We have this small butterfly here. To make pattern out of that, just go to the Edit, Define Pattern, and I will press B on the keyboard, and that's it B for a butterfly. Now let's make a new document, Control Command N, and let's type maybe 3000 by 3000, why not? And that's it. The next step, what I want to do is to create a new layer and press shift and backspace on a keyboard. Why? Because now I will have this fill dialog box. Sometimes you will have maybe this option or this option, whatever option you have here, just press on a content and choose pattern here and choose pattern you want to have. In this case, I will use the single butterfly here and I will check this script option. You have a few options here, but I will choose a random fill, okay? And blending mode, I will choose normal, opacity is 100%, that's OK, and just press OK. Now you will have a new dialog box with some, some sliders here. This is a density slider. You can make document more dense or less dense. You can have minimum scale factor and maximum scale factor. You can change the size of those butterflies. Some can be bigger, some can be smaller something like so, I will choose maybe like so. And yeah, you can rotate 
them uh, like all to be straight up or you can randomly rotate them and you can change the color like so random color or you can leave it to zero to have same color on all butterflies but i will change them and the brightness to something something like so and press ok and now you have a lot of small randomly positioned butterflies if you want to add another let's let's add another layer and again shift backspace pattern random fill press ok and now we will make less populate but bigger butterflies something like so and now you have this crazy interesting random fill pattern all right let me show you how you can create some other shapes okay new layer shift backspace again choose the butterfly same but we will change the script from random to spiral maybe and press ok and you have this nice spiral here you can uh, change the pattern scale or the ring spacing here see or you can again change the color and the brightness randomness and when you're satisfied with that just press ok and you will have really nice spiral of these butterflies and that's really nice and interesting effect to have all right that's it for this example you can try on your own some other scripts mode here and for third and the final example i will show you how to create a brick wall pattern just from one brick texture so let's do that all right we will use this wall texture here to create brick out of that to do that just I will use this rounded rectangular tool and let's make a brick shape something like so and now I have this property properties dialog box and I will choose the corner roundness maybe 20 pixel yeah that's okay and when you're finished with that just press and hold control command key and click on this layer to load that selection now go to the texture layer and press ctrl or command j to extract the brick shape and you can now hide everything again press and hold a control monkey and click to load this brick selection and go to the image and crop because i want to crop this to only have this brick shape and now i will make it smaller because this is too big for a pattern for my example i will make maybe three or yeah 300 by something that's nice and now i need to define pattern out of this one brick edit define pattern and let's type brick okay and now let's create a new document control command n and let's create maybe two three thousand by one thousand and five hundred something like so and now create a new layer shift backspace like in a previous example and just choose a pattern here choose a pattern shape the brick okay and from a spiral let's click brick fill that's nice press ok and now we will have this brick bricks we will choose the spacing a little bit bigger this may be too much something like so you can change the color randomness or if you want to have the same color but different brightness you can change that and you can change the angle in the pattern rotation but we want we don't want to do this here because if we change the angle we will have some really interesting pattern but it's not the brick wall that we want to create let's leave it with zero and press ok and now we have this custom wall brick pattern that it's really nice if we want to make this smaller let's undo this shift backspace okay and just change the pattern scale here something like maybe 0 0.6 or so okay and now you have smaller bricks and that's really really interesting way to create a brick pattern wall right guys that's it for today i hope that you like this tutorial and that you learn something new out of it of course this is just one way how you can create a custom pattern in photoshop but i think it's really easy and fun way to do that if you have any questions at all regarding to this episode please leave them in the comments below and i will be glad to answer them experiment have fun and see you next week in the next fun episode bye bye